Example 2.2 comes from our textbook and reads as follows. The armature of a six pole, 20 kilowatt, 400 volt series motor is wave wound and has a total of 36 armature slots. The motor operates at a full load efficiency of 92% while running at 975 revs per minute. The resistances of the armature and series field are 0.2 ohms and 0.15 ohms respectively. Calculate the possible number of armature conductors per slot if the useful flux per pole is 36 milliweber and the total brush contact resistance is 0.1 ohms. Now this is a lot of information to take in all at once, so let's go through the various steps to solve this problem. Firstly, let's draw the circuit diagram. Now this is a series motor, so the field winding is connected in series with the armature. So here's our carbon brushes to make electrical connection with our armature and it's a motor. We have our terminals for the voltage supply from the battery. And, and for a motor, important to note, it is drawing current from the supply. The same current passes through the series winding and most of the current gets drawn by the armature. Right, so that is the armature that produces the EMF and for a motor it's mechanical out and electrical in. Now we always use the input power for our calculations. Okay, we have some resistance inside the armature winding, so we call that RA and our series winding we call that RSE. Okay, so just to point out that in a series circuit the currents will be the same and voltage is divided. So the generated EMF will be equal to V minus IARA minus ISERSE minus IA times the brush resistance. Okay, next step. We need to write down all the information given before we can actually start our calculation. So first of all, it is a six pole machine, so therefore we have three pairs. 20 kilowatts is the output rating, so power out is 20,000 watts. The motor is wave wound, so therefore C is equal to 2, it's a constant. The number of armature conductors, we use the letter Z, and we have 36 slots multiplied by the number of conductors per slot. Okay, the efficiency is uh, 92%. So the moment you see efficiency, I recommend always calculate your input power. And we always use input power for our motors. So to calculate that, it will be the output power divided by the efficiency. The output power is 20,000 watts divided by the efficiency of 0.92. So therefore, the input power is going to be 21. Okay, you can leave your answer in watts just to make it easier. Then we have uh, the speed in revs per minute. That's 975 revs per minute. And the flux per pole is 36 milliweber. Now you can multiply by 10 to the power of minus 3 to convert milliweber to weber. We do have the uh, armature resistance, it's 0.15, the series resistance 0.2, and the brush contact resistance is 0.1. Right, now thirdly, which formulas will we use? Well, the question says calculate the number of armature conductors per slot. So to do that, we're going to need to calculate Z, which is the total number of armature conductors. Then secondly, in order to, to uh, solve for Z, we will have to use the EMF equation, 2 times P times N times Z times flux all over C times 60. Right, once we've got the EMF equation, we will be able to solve for Z. Let me go back a step, sorry about that. Let me use a different color. Uh, red. 
Okay, to solve for Z, it will be the EMF multiplied by the number of parallel paths multiplied by 60, all over 2 times P times N times the flux. Right, as you can see, now we need to solve for the EMF. So let me show you the EMF equation. E is equal to V minus IARA minus ISC RSC minus IAR brush. Okay, so those are the formulas we're going to be using to solve our problem. So now we can actually go ahead and solve for the unknown. So first of all, let's just write the EMF equation here. The EMF is equal to V minus IARA minus ISCRSC minus IA and R brush. Okay, so we need all those values. Okay, so in order to calculate the EMF, um, we have to ask ourselves do we have all the currents? And we don't have any of the currents, but what we do know is that current remains the same in series. So the supply current is the same as the series current, it's the same as the armature current. So therefore, to calculate the supply current, okay, IL, it's going to be the input power divided by the terminal voltage. The input power was uh, 21739, the terminal voltage is 400. So therefore, the supply current is going to be 54,348 amps. Now, essentially, all the currents are the same. The supply current, the series current, and the armature current are all the same. So that's important to note. And we've got our resistances. So we can actually go ahead and substitute now. So we've got our terminal voltage. It is 400 minus IA is 53, oops, sorry, 54, let me rub that out, okay, 54,348, multiply by the armature resistance of 0,15, subtract the volt drop across the series winding, current stays the same, 54, 3, 4, 8, multiplied by the series winding, which is 0,2, minus the volt drop across the brushes, current stays the same, 54,348, multiplied by R brush, which is 0,1, and then we'll get our generated EMF, which is going to be 375,5 e four three volts right now that we've got the EMF we can actually solve for uh, Z so to solve for Z uh, we already manipulated the equation previously so Z is equal to E times C times 60 over 2 times P times N times the flux all right so we have to do is substitute everything in there Right, let me use a different color here just to highlight that. Okay, so the EMF, 375,543. The number of parallel paths for a wave wound is going to be 2 times 60 over 2. This is a, a six-pole machine, so therefore it's got three pairs. The speed and revolutions per minute is 975. And the flux per pole is going to be 36. Now, I'm going to write it as a fraction here. It's just going to be much easier. And the final answer there for the total number of homage conductors is 213,985. Right, now that we've got Z, we can actually calculate the conductors per slot. So to do that, we'll say Z divided by the number of slots. So we just substitute everything in here. The slots was 36, okay, and therefore the number of conductors per slot would be 5,945.
Football. All right, thanks very much, guys. It's quite a long video. Thanks for watching this one.